Hi, I'm Aubrey. I'm 27. I'm from Johnson City, Tennessee, and this is the financial audit. <laughs> no, I yeah, he tried to help me, but I I was just ignoring it. And he tried to help you. Yeah, he did. But I don't want like someone to financially help me out of the situation. Like I don't want like What the f do you want? You won't hurt yourself, you won't let someone else help you. What what the f do you want then? I want to figure it out for myself. No, I if put you did, myself you would put in this situation. Well, but you've put nothing into it. Like there's not a single sign. There's not even a fucking like pebble to suggest on a grain of sand. Like nothing. You would do there. There would be a payment at least. Mm -hmm. Like this is one of the most irresponsible. I, I know I'm dogging on you, but it's just like this is one. This has this is easily one of the most irresponsible fucking situations I've ever seen in my entire life. Hands down. Not over exaggerated by any means. Yeah. That was... For the hardcore fans, you're up there with fucking, uh, Tyler with her car and Taquito Man with his taquitos. Like, this is wild. I know. I know. It's awful. I wish I never discovered credit cards in the first place. Yes, which is why you close them, never open them again. <laughs> How did it get this bad in the first place? How did it get this bad? Like, when did this all start? Okay. Okay. Love my parents to death. Okay. But. I grew up hearing no a lot. Like, they gave me everything I needed, but everything I wanted, I didn't get necessarily. If I asked them, would they agree? What's that? If I asked them, would they agree? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think they would. Because they didn't want me to grow up spoiled and entitled like you described. So. If, 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 you, if you let me call them right now, will they agree? <laughs> Can we call your dad? Yeah. Okay, ring him up. <laughs> Hey, Dad. How are you? Oh, I'm still here. I'm talking with oh. Caleb, and he wanted to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Hello, sir. I have a question. Um, sure. So your daughter is on my show right now. Are, are you aware of the show by any chance? I, I am not, but she did tell me about it. Oh, okay. She yeah. made a interesting claim, because we're going through her finances. She's, she's made an interesting claim about her past that... As she was going, as she was being raised, she got anything she needed, but there was essentially not a single time in her life where she asked for something and she was given what she was asked for. I'm having trouble believing that, but we want to right. see if that is true from your perspective. Um, well, you know, she's, she's always had everything she ever needed as far as I think she's seen other kids her age maybe a parent will give them an excessive uh gift like a car or something we always try to make her work for things uh, where i feel like she felt like she was a little more entitled to some things that she should have worked for mm, gotcha if, if that's what maybe but yeah I, I feel like that that's kind of been where she's maybe coming from regarding that well, what about like vacations and like toys and gifts and stuff like that? Oh yeah, I mean she always got had a great Christmas, great. Okay. Uh, I mean, got any outfit or whatever she ever needed, and then we tried to make her work as she got older because we're not always going to be here. So yeah, uh, to teach her that responsibility. But all right, but, yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you. All right, thanks, bye. Okay, see? No. What, it's not what, entirely you, wrong. Uh, you, he, he, he said things like cars. You think you're entitled to get a car from your parents? If they could provide it and they wanted to, for sure. I was actually very lucky where I got a hand-me-down from a grandparent situation. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it was incredibly lucky. But like most people I knew, and honestly, it probably would have helped myself in that moment if I had to work, you know, and... Even save up 25% and then they'd take care of the rest. Even something like that. That would be beneficial to me. But no, you didn't. He, he specifically said you got any clothes you wanted. You got the gifts you wanted. You got all the good stuff. You're just talking about a high ticket item like a f***ing car. Which like, no shit. Like, how, how do you feel you're entitled to that? And he specifically used the word entitlement as well. <laughs> so, like, what are you talking about? I just, I feel like. Also. 
We are, if, if, if the phone call is in the conversation, that means after the fact, we will have gotten consent from him that it was recorded <laughs> okay. and put in the conversation. Okay. I just, okay, I don't want to say that, you know, I, I am entitled to those things, right? But it's like at the same time, because of not getting certain things like that, this is where I'm, I'm wrapping it in. Okay, so because I didn't get things like that, and I did hear no quite a bit, when I turned 18, I realized I didn't have to say no anymore. I didn't have to hear no. And I was like, wow, I'm an adult now. And so then I discovered the world of credit cards. Why don't you act like an adult, though? <laughs> We're working on it. Okay. Yeah, it's a little late. Late in the game. Nine years later. <laughs> it's never too late. It's never too late to turn oh. this around. Oh. No, I've I've come across a couple of situations where I would say it was too late. And you're headed there. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't want to continue down that path, right? I have to make money, but okay. Okay. But okay. Okay. when I turned 18 is when I discovered the world of credit cards, and I got. I had this little boyfriend at the time, and he's like, you should get a Capital One student card. And I was like, okay. It can be a great way to start, right. yes, but yeah. you weren't and he not responsible. And he advised me. He's like, just use it for food and gas, essentials. And it was just like a, a little $300 limit. And so yep. I started with that. Perfect. And I did well with that. But then Discover reached out to me. Or I'm no, sure I think did. I applied to like, oh, get one of the cards. Oh. And then it was like it was like a thousand dollar limit, and then they just kept giving me more and more, and and then it got to the point where it was like an eight thousand dollar limit. I'm just like, this is crazy. I can use it for whatever I want. Why'd you max them out every time? Why'd you take them right up to the <clears throat> limit? If you were someone who cares about your credit card self professed, <laughs> uh, cre uh, uh, credit score, sorry. I uh, I did care about my credit score. I really did, and I had a really good one. Why'd like, you give up? Did something happen? <laughs> was it the post engagement by chance? Did, did did you see a collapse and just like care everything about that? I would say I would say a good majority of my spending is due to like being in an unhealthy relationship for so long, and that's kind of well, what wait, I did. Why was it unhealthy? Come on, we didn't. You weren't. So you, what? It just, he was he was very controlling and he just like didn't let me have my own space and I just felt like very confined so like okay. my only relief was like to spend money and on whenever I could whenever I could when I'd start to feel bad like I just like I go shopping or I'd like see something online and be like oh this will make me feel better and like temporarily it did and then it just got to the point where it's like I'm so in over my head it's like it it doesn't matter, you know, what's going on in my life. I literally can't spend money anymore. And, you know, so that's kind of like the point but that I'm at now. But you still do. Fun fact. I mean, we haven't gotten there yet, but mm -hmm. we're like halfway through. I just, I don't know. I just feel like I, I'm at the point now where it's like I can't physically spend any more money but on my credit cards. Do. On my credit cards. Okay. Capital One. Speaking of the or speaking of Discover, let's discover. We have Discover it. Discover how to get completely fucked by debt. That one was my favorite. You know how they got me is because every month they'll give you like a five percent back on like Target or Amazon. Oh, the game. The game. You the fell game. for the game so hard. I did. $643.89 minimum monthly payment. That's what's due. Interest charge is $130. Kill me. Credit score. They think it's uh, FICO uh, 590. 590. Yeah, well, let's, re let's really care about our credit score when it's 590. Yeah, that's <laughs> big smart. 